I am back to do another unboxing oh. kind of like review on uh, air fryer. I just did one today on my Instapot that I just got. I was explaining to you guys that my sis I told my sister I was looking for an Instapot but also if we could also find a good deal on the air fryer. So she was able to find the Instapot and the air fryer. I think it was like 130 some dollars um, through Kohl's. So she found an amazing deal on both of these. Another thing, um, so if you guys wanted to check out my other video with my Instapot, we also are doing a yogurt recipe in that one um, for you guys to check out. That'll be That's our first time ever using the Instapot and we wanted to start out with yogurt and then I was also mentioning that we are going to make um, a chicken recipe the following night from the Instapods uh, recipe book that came in with our package. So, to, but for right now, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about the air fryer. So it is the Power XL Vortex Air Fryer. It is the seven quart, so it serves six. If a lot of you guys don't know, I have 10 children, eight of them are at home, so there's 10 all together in the house with me and my husband. Um, we always are pretty much home because I homeschool, so I only work part-time, and the nights that I do work, or the night that I do work, we always try to make sure that we have a meal, or I have a meal done before we leave. Um, a lot of times, I don't always have enough time to get things done. And with the Instapot and the air fryer, I have um, less cooking time that for us to um, get a meal out and um, hopefully fresh and fast. So um, with the air fryer and the Instapot, I do have an older child that's 14 and loves to cook. This will be something easy for him to pull out and just put a recipe together. We'll get everything that he needs for ingredients to cook up a meal and he'll enjoy it. He, I know that he's going to love cooking with this. Um, if you hear any noise in the background, Evelyn is right behind us. She's one. So you can imagine how, um, yeah, I'm talking about you. So she's going to make some noise behind us. So kind of just ignore, ignore Evelyn. I have some stuff over there for her to do. So with, okay. I didn't. I never used uh, air fryer yet either, as for our Instapot. So I am going to. I already opened up the box because I wanted to take out all the instructions um, for the air fryer. So in the container here, you want you come. You can come here. So they have uh, one recipe or one coupon in here for some. Idaho fries it gives you a step-by-step -step guide on how to get started so remove basket load basket return basket to unit power unit on and remove basket after it's finished cooking so it says unpack all parts from the box and remove any clear or blue protection film wash everything with warm and soapy water before you use only select selected accessories are dishwasher safe. So really make sure that when you are putting something in the dishwasher that you're not going to end up ruining some of the stuff in it. Okay, so you do get your owner's manual. And in there, it will start out by giving you the important, like, safeguards, parts and accessories, Kind of like what I just went over with the quick start. Using your control panel gives you all the information on what to do for your control panel. And I'll show you that when I pull out the machine. Before your first use, remove all the packaging, like I said before. Um, and then it gives you a lot of like the safety part of it. For better performance, always use a fry tray with your basket. Uh, shaking, there's also another thing that you need to do when you're cooking like fries or chicken um halfway through your cooking process you want to shake it so you want to 
kind of mix things up a little bit. Another thing that you need to do is, the whole purpose of an air fryer is using less grease and oils um, for a healthier cooking process. But for some of them, like it says right here, for adding a bit of vegetable oil or any oil that you would like, fresh potatoes is suggested for crispier result. So adding oil, um, just before cooking, can add, you can add a small amount. So you're not adding, you know, like a half a bottle of oil or anything like that. You're just adding a little bit of oil to make it a little bit crispier. Um, okay, so even on here it tells you like how many ounces of french fries you can put in each quart because there's different quart sizes. Um, it does give you a general cooking guideline, food items, so you would just go down... So tomorrow night we're going to be doing chicken drumsticks in our, I think in our Instapot. So we won't be doing it in here, but they have mozzarella sticks, cake you can make in here. Um, on one of these you can make pizza also. So we'll be trying a lot of that out in here too. Okay, and then the last page is your double shooting. So it gives you all the guidelines for that. Okay, so let's get started with unboxing everything. Okay, same thing, comes with your foam piece. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh -oh. heavy too. Our biggest thing is we don't have a lot of counter spots counter space so we're still trying to figure out how we're going to um or where we're gonna put this when we're not in use but i think we're going to be using it often enough that we might just have to put it somewhere where we can store it pretty quickly and she's not wanting to be put down right okay you also will receive a recipe book in here so some of the things that you can make, we'll go over that, some onion rings, French or fish sticks, French fries. So in this book, it comes with 19 different recipes you can try. And then you're gonna pull out your frying basket. That has a piece of cardboard in there. And I'll give you a view of what that looks like. So it is a pretty good size um, base to work with where you could put a whole chicken in there. So that's nice that way. And then inside your machine, if you can tell, it has a coil on top and that's where you get the air frying from. And with your basket, it also has the air holes all the way around. So you would put all the stuff that you wanted in here, your french fries, um, like the onion rings and all of that, you would put it right inside. You would turn it on, and then it gives you all the selections that you can do to make what you want to make. I'm going to be trying in the air fryer is our egg rolls. So that's kind of exciting. So then I just press off and then it's just gonna end up um, shutting down. I release the basket and it shuts it off completely. So it is warm in there and it does have a vent in the back so you're not gonna wanna have that close to like a wall or close to something that's gonna end up catching on fire. So try to remember that in the back when you get yours. The basket's not usually that hard to like push in, it's just because I'm holding Evelyn and I can't really do that. So this one is the Power XL. Um, this one was advertised on TV also. So tonight what we're gonna be doing in here is the our pork chops. So we're gonna give this a try. There's a recipe online that I'm gonna be doing. It's not in the recipe book but it is one on my phone that I will be looking up tonight and then that's what we'll be doing. And I think it was under maybe like 10 minutes um, for cook time. So I'm kind of excited about that. And even if I, even if it's not big enough, because I think it was some, some of the meals are like 
six servings and we need, you know, obviously like 10. So even if I have to cook multiple portions without using extra grease and oils, then um, I could cook up a batch, take them out, cook up another batch, and they'll be done in 10 minutes. So for us and our family size, this is awesome, especially for like, shh, just wait. When we cook fries in the oven, it seems to take like 45 minutes to an hour. And french fries in here, um, in the book, it says that french fries, so it gives you two to three quarts, serves to five to seven quart serves four. So you would use your regular potatoes and the cooking time, press french fry button, set the cooking time to 18 minutes. So you're gonna be doing this for 18 minutes versus in the oven for 45 minutes. So we're gonna give that a try also someday, but for tonight it's mainly gonna just be the pork chops. And I was saying in my other video, the Instant Pot tonight is gonna be our yogurt. So that might are gonna be the two recipes that we are gonna be using. I'm not gonna um, show you guys what the yogurt turns out to be on this video, but like I said before, if you wanna check out that video, I'll leave that card up above and you can go and see what I, how I felt about the Instant Pot. Okay, so I have all the pork chops seasoned and I have the air fryer um, preheated to 400. I'm going to pull out the, the fryer. So this is what it looks like. What I showed you guys before. I'm just gonna place as many as I can fit in here. probably spray the bottom a little bit so that they don't stick so as of right now I have let's see how many I can fit in here one two one two three four five six four I could probably get a smaller one in here. There. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can get eight of them in there. Uh, 400. And I'm going to cook for 12 minutes. it for 12 minutes and then I'm going to flip it in between there so I'll cook it for six minutes and then I'll flip it in between okay so the six minutes is up and I'm going to flip them over and it's going to finish cooking um, the rest of the minutes So I pull them out after 12 minutes and they're fully cooked. I'm gonna put the rest of the pork chops in the fryer and see how the rest of them cook up. Other than that, um, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Go check out our video on our Instant Pot and how we made yogurt. And um, other than that, I really, so far, I think we're gonna like the air fryer but we'll have to try it a couple more times to see if we really like it thanks for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one